The president calls it a, quote, hard look as Bradley University rethinks the future with layoffs and academic programs eliminated. Good Monday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. He says the cuts proposed are needed to make sure the students, but now some of those students are preparing to protest. Brett Brooks joins us live in the studio with tonight's top story. Brett. That's right, Amber and Tyler, and that protest is scheduled to take place in the morning. More on that in just a minute. Some of the points the president spoke on with us was about the faculty who may be impacted and clarify just when their contracts are scheduled to be finished. Plus, the current investments the administration is making to keep Bradley financially afloat. President Stanford says the budget proposal was to help determine what was best for Bradley. When he spoke to us, he says the faculty who are affected will keep their current contract until May. The students whose degrees are affected will be able to graduate with that major. And here's more about what he said about making sure those students are taken care of. Now, what type of investments that can we make that really meet the needs and interest of today's students? Uh, exactly what that looks like will depend on where our students are at when we, when we finalize these decisions on December 6. Uh, but we are committed to doing that and to make sure that the faculty are here to support them through that process. We also got word into our newsroom. The student body is meeting right now and there is a walkout plan for Tuesday morning at 10 near Lydia Circle. And here's more about what Stanford had to say about tomorrow's protest of the proposed budget cuts. A number of my colleagues are going to be uh, doing a walkout tomorrow. Uh, I will, I will uh, give a shout out to those that are organizing that. They've worked with us. There are rules and regulations about how you do those type of things on campus, and they've been very respectful in coordinating with us to do that. And uh, I respect their right to have those types of conversations. And there's a look at the 17 programs that are on the chopping block. Standifer tells us once the official announcement of which programs are cut is made on December 6th, the programs will phase out gradually over the next three years. One thing he also mentioned was how the school is making current investments to further grow the school, like the partnership between Apple and T-Mobile to expand digital connectivity on campus. We want to keep you updated on this story and more following tomorrow's protests. Amber, Tyler.